couple of months ago, I replaced the whole CCTV system on our property. And since then, I've been tweaking and testing pretty much everything you can do with the system. It's just kind of the way I am. I will always tweak and try and get the best out of any sort of tech. So I wanted to share some of the findings with you in a couple of videos. Today, I want to talk about H265+. Plus. Now, H265 Plus is not something I'd come across before. It's not really a thing in regular video, but it is very much a thing in CCTV video. H265 Plus and H264 Plus, which are otherwise called H265 Pro or U-Code and various different names for this, it really takes H265, it takes the, uh, the, the current compression and it enhances it even further. Claims are that it can shave off another 50% from the bit rate. So if you're dealing with high resolution streams like an eight megapixel or 12 megapixel stream, uh, even possibly an 8K stream, uh, bit rates start to get quite big. If you've got a large number of cameras, then it can get problematic. It's a lot of network traffic. So dropping that bit rate down, if you don't need it, can be a very, very good thing. And really the question I'm asking today is whether or not you should use it. If storage is a problem for you, I don't really see why it should be, but if storage is an issue for you and you need to store extremely large amounts of time, these advanced compression methods can come into play there because they will allow you to store massive amounts of time going back. A lot of historical data there. Uh, also, if you're someone where the actual footage, the actual quality of the footage maybe doesn't matter, it's more about putting a timestamp on when something happened, then yeah, go for it. And additionally, if you know that the person that you may need to ID is going to come pretty close to the camera and you're going to get maybe them covering, let's say, a tenth of the frame or something like that. So let's say their face is going to be covering a tenth of the frame. They're going to be that close, almost like a ring doorbell sort of close. Then, yeah, again, I would say that would be a good time to use these advanced comp this advanced compression. However, Overall, for the situation and the scenario that I'm in, I would rule and say against it. Rule against it, that sounds a bit uh, formal, doesn't it? But um, the reason is, for me at least, CCTV comes down to image quality. Everything is about actually being able to ID someone. It's nothing to do with storage. It doesn't matter whether I can store only four days of footage. If the footage I get is not good enough quality, then it's completely useless for me. Uh, it needs to be the best quality it can be to give the maximum chance of IDing someone. And the problem lies with H.265 Plus is that the compression is just too aggressive. In fact, this advice really applies to VBR, so variable bitrate, as well. Because by its very nature, H.265 Plus is a VBR codec. It, it has to be. It is constantly adapting the bitrate. So if you've got a very still scene with nothing happening, that bitrate on, an on, an, on a 4K image can drop down to sort of one megabit. It's incredibly aggressive. And as a result, it has to make decisions on when and where it applies the bits in the image. So if something moves, it has to be able to bump up that bitrate. And unfortunately, in my experience, it just doesn't do it well enough and it doesn't do it fast enough. And again, I say this probably also applies to all variable bitrate codecs for CCTV. I suppose you could say then that my overall advice is use constant bitrate. It definitely is. But I'll give you an example here. So I've got a sort of a few little bits of footage from uh, my, my setting here. And the issue I have is that most of the people I'll be looking for are really not going to be covering much of the frame at all. It is a matter of zooming in on that image a lot because th the chance of that person being very close to the camera for even the slightest sort of half a second is pretty low. Most of the time they're going to be just over into the road, something like that. And so the actual person is going to be very small in comparison with the whole frame. So let's take a look at this particular piece of footage here. You've got a guy getting out of a, uh, I think it's a white, white BMW. I'll put the footage on after I've done this video. But as I move through the frames here, what we're looking for with any CCTV footage is frames that are usable for identification. There may 
depending on how that person moves and how that person acts and your shutter speed, all the sort of variations, only be five frames that you can actually see their face. And the problem with this is that so many of these frames are completely useless because the codec just isn't doing its job properly. It's too aggressive. It's not keeping up. It's not establishing that this person is a person and needs actual bitrate and data applied to them. I mean, there are some horrendous frames here as I sort of move through. You can see that we've got some awful frames where the head just becomes a complete smear and is completely almost unidentifiable as a human being, never mind an actual identification of a person. So in reality, unless that person's gonna come close to the lens and close to the camera, H265 Plus is not a suitable solution. Stick to constant bit rate, you can go with H265, H264 in my opinion gets slightly better results, but uh, H265, but certainly stick with a constant bit rate and really, unless you, you fit into those categories that I mentioned before, you probably shouldn't go with too much compression and you shouldn't go with these advanced compression methods because they really are too aggressive. And storage is cheap. Just get some more storage if you need some additional time. It's worth it to be able to capture an identification of a person when you need to because that's what CCTV is usually about. And if it isn't, if you're just looking for, you know, as I say, time and date stamps of something happening or an event and you've got a different camera maybe that does the kind of closer up stuff, perfect, you can work with it then. But in my scenario here, where most of the people I will need to ID are pretty small in the frame, will need a bit of a zoom, you know, almost a digital zoom in on the frame, it's just no good for me. Let me know what you think. Have you had any experience with it? Do you use CCTV? Is it something you're considering? You got any questions, put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.